the tolling of the bell tells me it's 6 o'clock, so I, it's a wonder I hadn't said 7. But it's time to go to church. We're glad you're here tonight, and, and I hope that you've stirred as much as I have. If you have, we ought to have a good service tonight. What page you got? In the inspiration book, page 185. 185. Thank you. 
They kind of slipped me one on that one. I remember it, but not well. Glad you're here tonight. I know I'm glad to be here. It's always good to be in the house of God. And, uh, well, what should we do first? I think the first thing that I'll uh, do is make one announcement is uh, for those of you that have wanted to see Sunday school come back, uh, we're going to start uh, Sunday school next Sunday morning at uh, 10 o'clock here in the sanctuary uh, we'll, we'll social distance like we have uh, uh, ever since this thing started you'll still have to wear your mask but uh, one week brother Charlie the first week brother Charlie will teach the Sunday school class the next week the second week sister Betty will t teach it and they'll, they'll rotate back and forth that'll give us at least back in to uh, uh, to to Sunday school, so if, when we go back into the classrooms, we'll be ready. So, I think that's a plus for all of us. So, so keep that in mind. Keep in mind that uh, the Right to Life prayer chain will be over at the uh, the uh, rehab. rehab. I was trying to think. I was, I was doing a little rehab there, trying to get it in my. But it'll be there uh, Sunday. Uh, October 4th from 2 to 3.30. We've done that for the last several years and, and we've always had uh, a pretty good time of it. Another thing that we want to remind you of that we will not have revival. A revival has been canceled due to some uh, concerns over the, the COVID virus uh, and, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll have revival sometime. If it's just in our heart, if, if we have to have it in our heart, we'll have it in our heart. So we want to remember that. Uh, is there anything else that I needed to make mention of? Okay, we'll go to prayer then. I, I wanted to get, especially the, the uh, I didn't have my pencil so I couldn't write it down so I had to keep it in my mind and, and that's a big job, whether you know it or not, to keep it there. 
But we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. And do you have requests tonight before we pray? Yes. Remember this one that lost his life. Uh-oh. Uh, bless her heart. Keep Lucille in your prayers. Gracious sakes. Let's remember this tonight. Anyone else? Amen. Amen. Let's remember these. Your family, yes. Let's remember all of our families tonight. I, I was saying last week, all of us have those loved ones we'd like to get in. The Lord can bring them in one by one if we'll pray, pray, pray. Request for the uplifted hand. I know everybody has somebody. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Charlie, lead us out tonight. Dear Lord, we thank you for your mercy, for your love, and for your grace. And Lord, for the privilege I pray, Holy Spirit, be with us, Heavenly Father. Give us that grace and that help, Lord, that we need every day, every step of the way. We pray that, Holy Spirit, tonight, that Thou would come, Lord, in Your own precious anointed light, You'd walk the aisles, the avenues of our heart, and cause us, Heavenly Father, to be a full God. Moved in a very special way. We come together to worship. <laughs> Amen. May the Holy Ghost and fire fall afresh and anew. Amen. May, Lord, we be under the spout where the glory comes out. Hallelujah. We come, our Father, to seek thee, thanking you and praising you, Lord. This day that thou hast given for the whole thank God. For the joy, Lord God, we feel way down deep in our soul. I pray, Holy Spirit, move upon the scene tonight with every shout of praise, with every testimony that's given, Heavenly Father, with every song that's sung. May you be glorified. May you be magnified. And, oh, God, we pray, have your precious right way, Lord God, in our heart and in our life. We give you the praise and the glory, Lord, for all things that you do. And we pray that, Heavenly Father, that in big way that you help us this evening. For in Jesus' name. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, I've got a, another little something I need to do this evening. I've got some folk that have been talking to me for quite some time about uh, joining the church. And I kept saying, let me, uh, to, uh, what I was thinking I was looking for was revival to take place, and, and, and the revival took place, and, and uh, somebody got in and wanted to join the church. We'd, we'd do it that way, but we're going to ask uh, Denise and Kevin and, and uh, uh, John and Teresa to come this evening, <clears throat> and we're going to give them the right hand of fellowship. Just stand up here before me tonight so I can look you in the eye. No. Okay. Come over here then. When we, uh, we joined the church, I, I think that uh, I've always felt like this that when you come and you, you put your time and your effort in, you're just one of us. But when we decide to join the church, it, it gives us the right to vote and to have some say-so in, in what goes on in the church. And I, I feel like this, that, that anyone that 
that uh, feels uh, like they want to join the church, they ought to be obligated enough to, uh, to support the church in, in every way that they can with their finances, with their time and their efforts, and be it made known unto you that uh, uh, it will give you the open door that you'll be able to, to teach if the Lord would put it upon your heart. I know Steve, uh, he's all the time uh, telling us, well, we need this, we need that. He's, he's a needer. And, uh, and uh, so there's, there's many opportunities. And, and I've always said, if, if you find something that you would like to do, come and talk to me about it because I'm pretty get, easy to get along with. If it's a good idea, we'll go with it. And therefore, this morning we're going to, or this evening, we're going to take you in and let you join us if there is such a thing. Become one of us. If you would this evening, turn around and face this congregation. <clears throat> and I, I think a part of, of joining the church is to have a body of believers that, where we care one for another. And, uh, and we're not individuals, we're a group. And, and there's not, it's not my way, and it's, it's God's way that makes the difference. And, and when we, we come together as God's people, God will, will unite us and make us what He wants us to be. At this time, if you would, Sister Janet, would you come and play us a song? Oh, we can't do that. <laughs> Just forget about that for a minute. I tell you what I want everybody to do. I want you to stand up this evening. We always have the right hand of fellowship. We ain't going to do that. You can give them the right hand of fellowship like this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's what we ought to... If, if you want to say something, say it. But, <laughs> Amen. 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 All right. Get them away. <laughs> We've taken care of that. <laughs> now I can treat you, treat you like dust. <laughs> All right, brother Mike. Steve, Robin, and Kathy. Okay. And before we get started with them, I'm going to ask the Wall Girls to come up and sing us a song. It's always good to have them with us. So if you would, girls, come sing us a song. <laughs> out there today and I was, I was talking I said yeah I said the Lord's been good to me he has a reason to keep us here you know uh, there's many times I could have been taken out from uh, from my childhood on now you know so many things have happened on my in my life but God has a purpose for us all and yeah we have to go through troubles and trials and heartaches and pains and hey I got a tooth <laughs> It's back. <laughs> I, lost, I lost my tooth the last time I was here, and I was having, I was struggling to breathe and sing at the same time without coughing. <laughs> now I have to say, while ago and I was coughing, girls, I, uh, some perfumes trigger uh, trigger my asthma, and I happened to walk across by somebody, and I don't know who it was, but it did trigger me, and I all of a sudden it came back on me, and I smelt it, and. and so I had to quit coughing there. Had to take my time. But you know, it does happen. And but that's okay. 
We have all we all have our faults. And I'm a big one. <laughs> But I'm blessed. God is good to me. I, I, I love him above all things. And, and, uh, and for the pleasures he gives us in life and, and the joys and the, the ability to speak. I feel sorry for the ones who really can't speak. They try and they can communicate. Uh, like my son, he doesn't communicate very well, but he can give you his wants and his needs. Uh, you know, if he wants something... And, he, he's even asked to call me. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll say, I, uh, a couple of weeks ago I was in church and right in the middle of uh, Brother Willie's preaching, I, I ran out because they were calling me and they were doing FaceTime and they said, and I could hear him in the background, Mommy, 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 Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> and Aaron doesn't do that. And, you know, that was new to me. And he says, I love you, Mommy. I love you, Mommy. I love you, Mommy. He said it three times, and I didn't have to prompt him. And, you know, little things do mean a lot, especially when it's the first time. And I, I just want you to cry and cry and cry. But I, had, I couldn't cry because I, I had to keep my composure for him. To, but then I cried <laughs> after I hung up. But I got to speak to him during church. And, but uh, I thank him for all of it. Yeah. Good and the bad. Yeah. What are we singing? Uh, start. There are so many things t to be thankful. <clears throat> there are so many things which, which to be, be thankful. There are so many things which to be glad. If we just try to count all of our blessings, we would have joy that we never have had. Thank you, Jesus, Thank you, Jesus for your true love. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Lest I wander from home yonder. Thank you, Jesus, for What a great price was paid for our transgressions. Freely Christ offered love, mercy, and grace. Thank you, Jesus, for your true love. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Lest I wonder. I never heard that song, but I liked that. That was good. That was good. Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs>
We'll just let it go with that. That's all right. Uh, I was going through my Bible today, and uh, back years ago when I was driving a lot, uh, I don't want to embarrass her or nothing, but Pam would occasionally write stuff down on a little piece of paper like this and stick it in my lunchbox or I had a little briefcase. I kept my paperwork and stuff in, and I'd be going down the road or whatever, and I'd open it, and there it would be. And this, this is one I want to share this week. It kind of goes along with the song I'm going to sing. The light of God surrounds me. The love of God enfolds me. The power of God protects me. The presence of God watches over me. Wherever I am, God is. Boy, that just makes you feel good. Driving down the road, you might be 500 miles away and pull something like that out of your dinner bucket. Buddy, that's, that's precious. That's precious. I appreciated that so much. Oh, yeah. A whole lot of dinner. Yeah, a whole lot of dinner. Uh, that's number four, brother. <coughs> It had been three days, his parents couldn't find him, but the scribes and the Pharisees were all gathered round him. As a boy in the temple, speaking with such wisdom, they were all amazed at what he said, and in the middle of it all there was Jesus Amen the one crying in the wilderness John the baptizer spoke of one who was to come baptizing with fire when John baptized him the heavens were open and God descended like a dove and in the middle of it all there was Jesus the wedding at Canaan the wine made from water going to the ruler's house to bring life to his daughter he spoke with authority straight from the father no one could explain away his power and in the middle of it all there was Jesus On a hill just outside of town, a man hung there bleeding, dying for the souls of men to captives bring freedom. Three days later, his tomb was empty. He conquered death and the grave. Yes, in the middle of it all there was Jesus so no matter what you're facing no matter where you've been in hard times or in good times keep your eyes on him even in the heat of battle or by pleasant mountain streams he'll be right there in the middle that's where he's always been so be strong and take courage when you think you're gonna fall cause right in the middle of it all there is Jesus there is Jesus
Oh. Well, I'll tell you, I haven't sung in so long, I'm nervous. <laughs> really nervous. This is a new song, and uh, I've worked a little on it, but I mess up. You all just say a little prayer and say, well, that's Kathy the Klutz, and it'll be all right. But it seems like it kind of goes along with things that Brother Roger said this morning and some of the songs this evening. I love you this much is the name of the song. That's number six, Mike, if I can get my breath. As a child, I asked my mother, how much do you love me? Then she threw her arms wide open for my little eyes to see. Then she told me of the Savior on a hill so far away when I heard how much he loved me my life has never been the same I love you this much then he opened his arms and died for me. I love you this much. As he bowed his head a Calvary. And what mercy was revealed as his precious blood was spilled with arms open wide my savior cried i love you this much many times we've heard the story we've memorized john 3 16 but sometimes we take for granted how he died for you and me when my heart fails to be thankful for the price he paid for my sin just take me back to Calvary to see those open arms again. I love you this much. Then he opened his arms and died for me. I love you this much. As he bowed his head at Calvary. Oh, what mercy was revealed as his precious blood was spilled with arms open wide. My Savior died. I love you this much Then he opened his arms and died for me I love you this much As he bowed his head on Calvary His precious blood was spilled with arms open wide. My Savior cried, I love you this much. Love you this 
But there's not a king with more splendor than them. Consider the sparrows, they don't plant nor sow, but they're fed by the master who watches them grow. We Father above with eyes full of mercy and a heart full of love He really cares when your head is bowed low so consider the lilies and the May I introduce you to this friend of mine Who hangs out the stars, tells the sun when to shine And kisses the flowers each morning with dew but he's not too busy to care about you. We have a heavenly Father above with eyes full of mercy and a heart full of love. Your head is bowed low, so consider the lilies, and then you will know. Consider the lilies, and then you will Turn with us tonight to 1 Peter chapter 1. 1 Peter chapter 1. Get this thing up on my collar so that Mike can control the sound. It's 
Steve come down to the office right before, uh, I guess right when he, he got to the sanctuary this evening and said hi. And I said, my, how a day passes by. You know more than get it started and it's over with. And, and we're finding that out more every day. <clears throat> first Peter chapter 1 of the first epistle of Peter. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit unto the obedience and the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, Grace be unto you, and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God of the Father, and of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time wherein you greatly rejoice though now for a season if needs be you are in heaviness through manifold temptation, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen, you love, in whom though now you see him not, yet believing, re you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Would you bow your heads with us for a word of prayer? Our precious Heavenly Father, Lord, we've come to that time once again. Lord, we're expected to preach, and yet, our Father, we know that lest the preacher comes, there will be no preaching to take place. But we ask you, O oh God, to anoint us this evening. Give us, Lord, the words of eternal life. Use us, Heavenly Father, and then when you're through with us, may we stand aside. May God be given the glory, the honor, and the praise, for it's in His mighty name that we ask this evening, and amen. I, I thought as I started reading this scripture tonight, Paul, or, uh, Peter begins to, to talk to the strangers. And I, I thought uh, of, of the day uh, in, in, and the time that they were, I, I would imagine that there were several Christians around, but yet uh, as far as, as a, a big body of, of believers, there probably wasn't. And yet, my friends, that these that, that had had taken Christ in, into their life, I would imagine that in every day they were in temptation and they were in trials. That every day that, that as they looked around, that there were those that my friends were coming against them. I'm sure that, that being a Christian wasn't a, a, a popular thing for the day and the time. But yet, these believers kept on keeping on. And I, I believe that Peter saw fit to, to try to, to challenge them in, in the things of God. I, I thought, my friends, I looked at, at another scripture and it talked about that, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And I thought that every one of us tonight needs the joy of God's love within our heart to overflow us. And, and many of times, my friends, it's through the encouragement of one another, that we are, uh, we are able 
by the mighty grace and the power of God to make it through the torments and, and, and the things that we go through almost on a daily basis. And I began to think that as he began to speak, he began to remind them of, of that one that had, had rose from the dead, Jesus Christ. He, he was resurrected, raised up, and the scene of many a folk, my friend, and no doubt, found uh, those that, that saw him and, and knew of him, my friend uh, uh, that knew that my friend that he said, uh, you, you put me down, and he said, three days. He said, I'm going to arise. And I thought, my friend, that is the hope. Thy God of every believer, everyone, my friend, that have, has ever uh, made that start uh, up, uh, upon the, this road uh, toward happiness, my friend, it's been because uh, that they heard about the resurrection. And that one that sits at the right hand of the Father, thy God to make intercession. I believe tonight, my friend, that Jesus, he's still upon the throne. And it's still uh, your and my responsibility. Why, to one another, uh, to certainly to give the word of God as we, uh, my friends, look about uh, and see upon every hand the troubles and the trials that are taking place and the need, my friend, uh, for God's people uniting as one uh, and standing arm in arm. Uh, thank God in a fight uh, uh, that, my friend, that we're in tonight. Uh, if, uh, in the world, uh, they don't like uh, you and I. Uh, and therefore, my friend, many a times uh, we find ourselves as strangers uh, and pilgrims, my friend, going through this world looking for uh, uh, that, my friend, uh, uh, that uh, of the end when it takes place. Uh, when we shall see him, huh? thank God in his likeness, and see him as he is. Huh? Hear him say, thank God, well done, huh? thou good and faithful servant. Huh? You've been faithful in a few things. Huh? I'm going to make you ruler over many. Huh? But I begin to look huh, here this evening. And I thought, my friend, in those times of troubles, uh, aren't you glad uh, that you've got that very present help uh, that said he'll be with you? And oh, uh, remember this, uh, that there's power, thank God, uh, in the Lamb of God. There's power uh, to, over, uh, uh, to surround you uh, as he puts his big arm around you in those times uh, of trials and tests uh, and allow you to know uh, that, my friend, he's never uh, more than a prayer away uh, at the times uh, when the struggle seems to be uh, that we would not be able to make it through, that he comes right along, uh, gives us that little nudge, uh, that edge that we need, my friend, uh, to say, thank God I'm going through. Uh, amen. Uh, I've thought so many a times uh, how good that it is uh, that, my friend, in the midst of the trial, uh, in the midst of the storm, uh, we could see it's not me, uh, but it's him all the way uh, that's carrying us through. I've thought many a times uh, as the trials of life have gone uh, uh, up forth, my friend, uh, and we found that the times when we, it seemed like uh, that we just weren't going to make it. It seemed like the waters were overflowing. And my friend, we were going down so it would speak uh, for the last time. Uh, and then a mighty hand uh, come along and picked us up. Uh, and my friend showed us the light uh, and showed us that we can make it. Uh, thank God by the help of the grace of God. Uh, I'm glad tonight. Uh, that Jesus still has the power, huh, my friend, to be in his people huh, and to overflow them huh, with the mighty presence of God huh, and fill them, huh, thank God, with the joy and peace huh, and happiness that they need, huh, my friend, to make it through. But I thought, my friend, not only huh, does he have the power, huh, but my friend, he has uh, the peace that we need. Uh, oh, in the times of trouble, uh, amen. Uh, aren't you glad that we don't have to, to my friend, just fret and we don't have to get our head down, uh, but we can know uh, that he's going to take us through no matter what uh, the conditions of life are. Uh, I thought uh, of times, my friend, it seemed like uh, that we were probably at our, our lowest ebb. And, and many a times, we feel alone. It seems like that we're all by ourselves, that nobody else cares, that you and I, my friend, that we're just kind of, uh, uh, we're tossed from pillar to post. 
But then the peace of God eh, somehow moves in and the joy of the Lord eh, begins to overflow our spirit. Eh, and for a time we realize, eh, thank God that my friend, eh, that he's right there by ourself, eh, our side, eh, and that we can make it eh, by the help and the grace of God. Oh, I'm glad tonight for the joy that Jesus gives. I'll tell you what, I'd rather have the joy of the Lord than to have a, a million dollars in the bank. I'd rather have the joy of the Lord than my friend to have an army that would surround me. If that were, there were an army, my friend, the army of my friend could fail and could be defeated. But there is no defeat with Jesus. It's onward and upward and with his glory. Surround us in his victory. There before us, thank God, we can make it by the help and the grace of God. But I thought this evening, how good it is that you and I as the people of God can stand fast and know that my friend, that he's a very present help in our times of trouble. And then I thought, my friends, that many of times that you and I, we find ourselves when that that it seems like that we can do nothing. And my friend, then we realize that it's all because of him, because of him that we were picked up, because of him, my friend, we were delivered, because of him, my friend, we were able to walk in this world and find that forgiveness of sin, thank God, and find that there's hope beyond the grave, hallelujah. And I thought, my friend, as we look, that we'll see something else, that my friend, in the end, he said that we'll have eternal life for our soul. I'm glad, thank God, salvation for our soul. I'm glad that my friends, that I, I don't look for what tomorrow has, but I know that, thank God, when the time comes, that tomorrow will take care of itself. When he said, come on up, just a little bit higher. You've been, you've been uh, certainly, uh, 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 certainly uh, uh, with a few things that you've been faithful I'm going to make you ruler uh, over many uh, and he said come on up uh, and forever and forever uh, we're going to be in the mighty presence of the Lord uh, where forever and forever uh, we'll be able to live for him I thought uh, my, I, 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 many a times I try uh, uh, to get up and testify and I, I stumble and I I stammer and I can't really get out of my mouth. Uh, those things that I want to, uh, to say about what Jesus did for me. Uh, but I believe there's coming a day. Uh, oh, I'll be able to say, thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you for your goodness. Uh, thank you for your love. Uh, thank you for your mercy. Uh, and thank you uh, for keeping me uh, and delivering me to this place. Uh, I don't know about you this evening, uh, uh, children, but I'll tell you what I know. Uh, I know that, that there's encouragement huh, for you and I that may be walking through dark waters this evening. Huh? It may seem like huh, uh, that, that, that the world does not care and that the world doesn't care. Huh? But there is huh, a brother or a sister, huh? no doubt if they're uh, not speaking to you and encouraging you along, huh? they're praying for you and wanting you, uh, my friend, to make it by the help and the grace of God. So let's keep our eyes set like a flint on a city, my friend, which hath foundation, whose builder and maker is God. Let us stand fast and know, thank God, that there's power in the blood and that Jesus, my friend, he's going to bankrupt the heavens to make sure that you and I make it home tonight. So we pray that somehow tonight that our hearts would be encouraged Yea, strangers along the way, uh, the world thinks of us. Uh, uh, my friend, they don't think very much uh, of the Christian church tonight. Uh, but we know uh, that, my friend, that we're mighty. Uh, and that someday, uh, by the help and the grace of God, we're going to make it through. So keep your eyes uh, looking up and know, thank God, uh, that Jesus lives within your heart and within your life. Praise the Lord. We may be strangers, but we've got an end that we're looking for. It's not what in, what's in the middle, though our life's in the middle makes the difference. But when we get to the end, we may have suffered, suffered many consequences along the way, many trials. 
But in the end, we'll have everlasting peace and joy and happiness. Be, thank God, John, it'll be worth it. Every mile of the trip, so keep on, keep on going. God bless you. Tonight is our prayer. Amen. Amen. Every heart are you? Every heart clear tonight. <clears throat> Every heart clear. Well, God bless you. Tonight is our prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that we were able to gather together and worship you. Now we pray as we go to our homes, may Heavenly Father, you go with us and encourage us. Lord, we need your joy. We need your peace. We need your happiness within our lives. So may we seek the source and find what we need in you. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. And amen. Shake hands.